Hi Rich Fam! Kamusta kayo? For today's video, I'm going to review a wireless lapel microphone for your mobile phones. So, let's go! Hello mga ka Rich Fam! Are you working at home or nag online school ka ba? Or, mahilig ka naman mag Facebook Live to sell many products? Or are you a game streamer? Or you're doing IG Live, TikTok, etc.? Ang isa sa mga nagiging problema natin dyan ay ang mic ng ating cellphone. Especially kapag medyo malayo na yung cellphone natin, di ba? Medyo humihina tayo at medyo maingay sa paligid natin. So, for today's video, I'm going to review an affordable wireless lapel microphone kasi medyo mahal yung road mic. So, this one is meant for your cell phones. By the way, ito ay pinadala sa akin ng afashionmy.ph sa Shopee. So, they have a Shopee shop. I hope you'll visit their shop and follow them. They sell a lot of things like tech gadgets, wireless earphones, toys, at maraming pang iba. So, I hope that you'll visit their shop sa Shopee, afashionmy.ph. Anyway, thank you Kevin of afashionmy.ph for sending me this and for your continued support to my channel. Without further ado, let's get started with the unboxing! So, dalawa itong um, products na ito guys. Ang isa ay meant for um, iPhones at ang isa naman ay for um, Android phones. And magkaiba yung presyo nila. Yung mic na may USB Type-C connector for Android phones ay nagkakahalaga ng 389 pesos. So, that is roughly $7.50. And yung mic naman na mayroong lightning connector for your iPhones ay nagkakalaga ng 438 pesos so that is roughly $8.50 Anyway, I'm really excited so let's check it out Wow! It even comes with a bag Not just one, but two bags. <laughs> so, here it is. This one is for the iPhone and this one is for the Android. Here is what's inside the box. You will get a free storage bag, a user manual, a USB Type-C cable, a USB Type-C transmitter with a wireless lapel microphone, and the other version is a USB Lightning port receiver with the wireless lapel mic. As for the design, the mic is really tiny and portable. It comes with a foam filter na pwede mong tanggalin. You can also see the indicator light if it's connected or not. The clip so you can attach it on your clothes. A USB Type-C port para ba-charge mo siya. The power button. And as you guys see, it's a blue indicator light. Sa ilalim naman ay ang reset. So if in case you're having a problem with connecting it with the receiver, then you can reset. As for the receiver, there are two versions. This one is the lightning port receiver, so that is meant for iPhones. And this one is the USB Type-C version for Android phones. On one side of the receiver is the indicator light and the reset hole. It is the same for both versions. The other side is a lightning port and a Type-C port but you don't need to use it because you don't have to charge the receiver. To use it, just connect the receiver to the phone and you will see a flashing blue light. It means that it's searching for the lapel mic. 
So just turn the power on of the lapel mic and a steady blue light means that it's already connected and you can start using the mic. For the USB Lightning model, I tried to test it with an iPhone running with the latest iOS version and it really works. So it's really just plug and play. You can use the wireless mic for 10 hours on a single charge. Now let's test it. Unahin muna natin ang merong USB Lightning na receiver. So that will work with your iOS devices or iPhone. And upon testing, gumana siya kahit sa luma kong iPhone 6. And with the newer iPhone models that is running with the latest iOS 15.4.1 version. And surprisingly, gumana rin yung mic while video recording sa iPhone. So it's really perfect for vlogging. As for some apps, gumana rin siya sa mga ibang apps. But a little disclaimer, I cannot vouch for that because as you guys know, uh, lagi nag update yung mga apps. So baka pag sinabi kong gumana siya for this certain app, baka kapag bumili kayo after a few days or a few weeks, eh mag-update yung app na yun at hindi na siya gumana. Anyway, this is how it works while video recording with the iPhone. Hello, hello! I'm testing it with the iPhone right now. What do you guys think? Malino ba? Now, ikabit naman natin siya sa damit ko and let's see if malino pa rin siya. So there, what do you guys think? Um, so, kung halimbawa, gagamitin niya as for your Facebook Live, mine, mag-mine na kayo. <laughs> or something like that. This is how it sounds. Kung mic lang ng iPhone yung gamit ko at bukas yung aircon, um, narinig niyo ba yung buga ng hangin? What do you guys think? Maingay ba? And now, let's try it if ikabit naman natin itong lapel mic. And now, I'm testing it while the aircon is on because usually kapag nag-film ako ay pinapatay ko yung aircon dahil medyo naririnig yung pagbuga ng hangin kasi malapit ako sa aircon so marinig talaga yung aircon na nakabukas. So what do you guys think? With the help of this mic, nababawasan ba talaga yung mga background noises? How's the noise cancellation? As for the one with the USB Type-C receiver, medyo mas picky siya when it comes to the phone that it is compatible with. And according to the seller, these are some of the phones na hindi compatible sa kanya. And of course, hindi pa kompleto yung list na yan. So yung mga newer phones or models, maybe some of them are not compatible with it because napakaraming Android operating system. But I tested it with my Poco X3 Pro and gumagana naman siya sa sound recordings, sa voice memos, even sa audio calls, etc. Just like a typical mic, and malino siya talaga. So now, let's test it. Ang naririnig nyo ngayon ay ang mic ng camera ko. But now, let's use the audio that I recorded with my Poco X3 Pro. So, what do you guys think? Malino ba kapag ganito kalapit or ganyan kalayo? What do you guys think? The sad thing about Android system, of course, is kahit sa mga apps, meron din siyang compatibility issues. So, I really can't vouch for that. Just the same with the iOS version. Um, Siyempre, yung iba-ibang apps, iba-iba rin ang mga settings niyan. So, it's really hard for me to say kung ano yung mga apps na compatible siya right now. Because maybe in the future, hindi na rin siya compatible sa mga apps na yun. But, generally, it's really a nice mic for sound recording. And the one with the USB lighting receiver is really nice for vlogging considering that it works even for video recording. So, okay na ba itong audio na to guys? As I've said earlier, this is recorded with my Poco X3 Pro. Now, let's go back to the microphone of my camera. So, here are the wireless lapel microphones. Overall, I'm going to give this a thumbs up and a 9 out of 10 rating para sa my USB Lightning na receiver while an 8 out of 10 rating para sa USB Type-C na receiver. I think you guys know why. Because when I tested the one with the USB Lightning receiver para sa mga iPhone, it works even sa mga bagong iPhones running with the latest iOS na 15.4.1 and gumana rin siya kahit sa luma ko na iPhone 6. So, maganda siya for vlogging when you're recording videos kasi gumagana ng clearly yung mic and also for sound recording and even voice memos, etc. Sadly, for the one with the USB type C receiver for Android phones, as expected, medyo picky siya when it comes to compatibility with phones. Kasi napakadaming versions ng Android operating system, aside from the fact na magkakaiba rin ang mga interface ng bawat brand ng mga Android phones. So that is really a compatibility issue. But of course, it works well sa sound recording. 
And for both of them, malinaw siya talaga, generally speaking. Maganda rin yung noise cancellation, kahit pa paano nababawasan yung background noise. The voice clarity is quite impressive. Wala rin siya masyadong hissing sound at mga static noise. As for the apps that it works with, um, I really cannot guarantee on that because, you know, if you're planning to use it for live streaming or live selling sa Facebook at kung ano pang mga apps, I really cannot guarantee because as you guys know, ang mga apps ay laging nag-a-update. So for those apps that you're planning to use it with, just check first kung compatible siya sa external mic before considering getting one of this. But generally speaking, it's really a decent quality mic considering that it's also reasonably priced. You can get one with a USB Type-C um, receiver for only 389 pesos and the one with the Lightning receiver for only 438 pesos. Anyway, that sums up my video. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated on my future videos. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, it's your boy Rich and I'll see you on the next video.